Hey, what is up, guys? It is S Gaming R here with the 23rd playthrough of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Last episode, we broke into the Thalmor Embassy. And here we have a. Uh, this is after we created the distraction to sneak into the back. So, Savani here is the cook. She plays no importance. Don't worry, she's not going to give you in or anything because she's been doing something bad herself. Apparently, whatever moon sugar is must be some really expensive ingredient that she indulges in. Anyhow, uh, that arrow there is pointing to a chest which has all of your items in it. The items we smuggled in, if you don't remember. Last episode, we had talked to Malborn and he had smuggled in all of our armor and weapons and potions that I asked him to smuggle in. So go ahead to this chest and go ahead and collect them all. Oh, in that previous cut, um, when when Malborn was walking through the door, the reason I had that cut was because I accidentally used my unrelenting force shout on him, and I didn't want the uh, first of all I didn't want the bounty, and I didn't want Malborn and me being on you know being enemies essentially. So I let him kill me, which took a little while considering he's so weak, and I'm so strong, even with armor off. No matter, uh, let him kill me, and I respawned. Or I restarted like uh, right outside the door to the chest, and yep, all was well after that. So go ahead and go inside here. Now, what Bethesda has planned you to do is to sneak in the, you know, sneak around in the Thalmor Embassy. So this, you don't have to lock anything of the sort. Clairvoyance won't work at the moment, I have no idea why, but there are three Thalmor guards here. Let's go ahead and take them out, they should be fairly easy. Uh, just two, t two Thalmor guards and a wizard actually, but apparently the wizard didn't want to show his face until I killed his buddies. Makes it easier for me, after all, because the wizard... Uh, these Thalmor wizard have this lightning spell, as we'll see right here, which is quite good, surprisingly. It's weak at first, but you know it saps so much damage in the end that you'll probably end up using some potions. See, as you can see, it's just sapping my life points away, and I can't even reach him for some reason. So I don't want to risk uh, a death here, so I go ahead and take a potion and finish him off. And his body somehow flew all the way up there. Anyway, uh, make sure you take the Thalmor robes as they are worth 462 septims. Uh, and you can you can sell them for uh, like you know 100 or more. So, yep, the door is locked. So yay, great. And you can uh, collect some potions here as I did. And there's nothing else in this room as far as I'm concerned. Just a bunch of spider webs and old goblets. So go into the room where you kill the Thalmor wizards. Now this is a great place to explore around because in all these chests, etc. These chests and wardrobes, there's coins, tons of coins, and uh, well, that's pretty much it. There's lots of potions on the bookshelves lying around. So be sure to take those as those can always help you out later. Now this is a book we'll see a lot in the future, The Cake and the Diamond. Except I still haven't bothered to read it because, well, it's a book. <laughs> so yeah, you can go out through that exit to Skyrim. And it doesn't mean Skyrim as in like Skyrim, Skyrim, like the open world, but it means, you know, the next part of the mission. But not yet. So first I'm going to explore around. The reason being, as I say, I want to get some coin and some potions. And I actually don't believe you can go out those doors yet. Just yet, actually. You have to uh, go here first. And follow the arrow. The arrow will point to another door leading to another Skyrim. Or a door leading to the supposed... Uh, it's very hard to explain. Forget about it. You, you will see later. Meaning Skyrim is in... Yes, it's open. Like, you're not in a building. But you're still in the Thalmor Embassy. That's a good way to explain it. Now, as you can see in all these wardrobes and desks, drawers and everything, there's just tons of coin. If I cared to explore a little more, I probably would have found more, but I didn't. Um, still enough, you know, I got around maybe a hundred gold or so. 
And I'm just going to continue through this door here. So now the next part is pretty easy. There's just these, you know, more of these Thalmor guards with their elven light armor, which makes them a pretty easy target, very easy to kill. The Thalmor wizards are more of a problem, as I said earlier. But their defense, like what they make up for offense, they really lack in defense. So you can be sure to easily take them out. So as you can see, sneaking really isn't my thing. Considering this, uh, second I walked outside the door, I was spotted just from like a, you know, 10 yards away or something. So this is a cool weapon that this person has. I, you know, I wish when I killed a, a when I killed this Thalmor guard that it would drop this weapon. But unfortunately, it didn't. And I, to this date, I still do not know what it's called. And if one of you guys could answer that for me, <clears throat> JR Gaming, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I can know this knowledge, have this knowledge. Cause it looks like an awesome weapon. I have seen people walking around with it in other videos. Oh, and here's another one. This making me more jealous. Still, their awesome weapon stands no chance to my dual wield. Iron Dagger plus Blades, long uh, plus Blades Katana, because it just cuts through this elven, elven armor like butter through. Ugh, that was I, I completely messed that up. Like a knife through butter. That's what I meant to say. <coughs> All right. So after you take out those three Thalmor peoples, go through the door. Oh, wait, never mind, we have more. So apparently there actually were more behind us. But I guess I did not care to fight them. I'm looking, but forget about it. Just go through the door. Actually, thinking about it now, I have no idea where those people were. They might have been on that house opposite the one we just entered. But I don't really think you can enter that house. Maybe they were just around the uh, the catwalk. Anyway, uh, after you walk into the house, you there are three three enemies here. I guess Thalmors are very fond of being in pairs of three. Not pairs of three, um, just groups of three. So this was interesting. I mean, there was a mage with a name here. Pretty cool. And somehow I died and I have no idea how. No, I mean, I swear I was looking back at the source clip like a minute ago and I don't remember finding this death here. Um, all right, whatever. It, it's cool. It happens to everyone in Skyrim. Let's try that again. Or you know what? Maybe I was looking at, maybe I'd skipped ahead to this scene and didn't see the death. That's all right. Same thing. Uh, you, oh God. Epically, Fusro died and taken out very quickly with my dual one-handed weapons, as I recommend to you guys. Obviously, I mean not obviously, but as I have said multiple times, not she has nothing of importance. So this was the guy that wasn't there last time, or that didn't really care to fight me. Gizzer. Uh, for some reason, I didn't see that garnet. I don't really know why, but garnets are like rubies. It's a nice, nice-looking gem. And here, what I hate when these mages do that. So you guys have to really watch out for this. What they'll do is they, you know, use their spells on you, and then they kind of back up. And for some reason, they have eyes in the back of their head. So he conveniently knew where the door was and where to back up. And now he restores his health and gets taken out before he can even do anything. So this guy is sad. I mean, at least have some, at least have some decency when you're facing your death. I mean, come on. So he has a lot of, he has quite a bit of loot which you can take. A nice spell, soul trap. So I can take the souls and use that for enchanting later on. There are some potions in this bookshelf. I guess I did not see it. And there's a display display case here, but unfortunately, I, gu I guess I forgot to ask Malborn to smuggle in my lockpicks. Must have just left. Just went over those without seeing. That's 
quite that's too bad all right sweet rolls very popular skyrim meme with sweet rolls get rid of that don't want to see that just kidding searching around here finding potions like a boss and stupid biographies which i have no care to read i mean the detail in this game is still amazing me skyrim i mean uh bethesda like writes in e each of these individual books i mean i wonder how many books are in skyrim alone I mean, we have the College of Winterhold, right? Huge college in, uh, well, Winterhold, obviously. And that's a pretty big place. And then there are supposedly a hundred of books, like, a, I mean, you know, a lot, like hundreds of books in there, maybe even more. Maybe less. I have no idea. I, I've been there because I have completed the main quest, and the main quest does involve you going there. But I have not visited... Um, I've not really explored it yet, and I haven't joined the Mages Guild, which I believe is hosted in uh, in the College of Winterhold. So searching around here, I come I come across this unusual gem, pretty awesome, and it brings up this message. Brings up this message. I really cannot talk right now. Brings up this message to give it to an appraiser. An appraiser is someone who looks over jewels and figures out how much it's worth. So I will do that later on, but that's very later on, which and that actually involves the Thief Guild as well. So it's this whole hubbubba, you know, that word that's H-U-B-B-U-B, hubbubba, hubbub. <clears throat> anyway, so it looks like I've successfully looted the hell out of this place. I'm going to go to this chest here. And take all these dragon investigations because this will this is what we were looking after if you don't remember but this is what we were meant to uh, find proof proof that the Thalmor are somehow directly related with the resurrection of the dragons and the recent dragon attacks on places such as Helgun and well I can't really think of any other places at the moment Tynes Grove yes anyway that is unfortunately all the time I have with you guys today. The clip, I had to cut off at least two minutes because of that stupid scene where I accidentally Fusro died. What's his name? Malborn. And he went flying and then 40, 40 bounty was added and then, you know, all hell broke loose. And then I let him kill me, which was the saddest part, but whatever. Anyway, this was Ask Gaming R. If you liked the video, please give it a like and... Join me for the next episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim number 24, where we finish the diplomatic immunity, diplomatic unity quest. I don't know what I said there. Immunity or something. Meaning we go to the entire Thalmor embassy and we find whatever we need to look for.